been a minute. I've been so busy with nutrition school and coaching and I made a new relationship and it goes on and on and on. And I've had three videos that I've been meaning to edit for a really long time. By the time I get them up, they're like old, but I'm still gonna do it. And I decided while I was home today, I just finished my second workout of the day and I'm gonna make some cauliflower rice. So I figured I would just film it, do a short video, call this tutorial of how I do my cauliflower fried rice and just check in. Hopefully it won't take me forever to get it up. Ingredients are a head of cauliflower. I'm gonna add cabbage, one carrot, green onions, this sad wilted onion, half an onion, eggs, and I'm gonna add shrimp to mine, not necessary, and then fresh ginger is better, but I have this powdered ginger. Uh, sesame oil makes a really big difference in the taste. I'm not gonna use it to cook down with because it's better as a finishing oil and some fresh garlic. It's very helpful to have a food processor for the cauliflower. It's not necessary. You can chop it up yourself or you can buy it already riced at Trader Joe's and other grocery stores. This is the best angle I can get right now, but open up your food processor and then all we're gonna do to the cauliflower is just remove like all this stuff. And if you can see, I'm just chopping it over here. And sometimes it's one head of cauliflower is gonna be too much, so I'm just stopping at this, and then I'll get this going, and then I'll finish the rest. I'm just gonna set this aside in a bowl, because I actually wanna heat up my onion and my uh, garlic first. So this is very finely chopped. You can do it thicker if you like bigger chunks if you want. If you buy it riced, it's definitely going to be bigger. So this is actually a little bit too fine for me. When I do my next bit here, I'm going to try to go, try to not do that. But yeah, there's no like wrong way to do anything. You just learn. I'm going to do pulse this time. I think that's the ticket. That's what you want to do. Makes sense now. Then you can like get in there. So this one is much. It's like bigger, bigger little pe bigger little pieces. So in a pan here, I'm going to I'm going to use ghee, but you can also use butter, olive oil, coconut oil. I'm just going to use this for. I didn't use quite a te teaspoon here. This is gonna make a lot of rice. So I've just got it in the oil of your choice here. Then while that is on like medium, I'm gonna chop up my onion. Garlic and oil smells so good. Okay, so now I'm putting, not that guy, my onion in. About a half an onion, you can do more. Turn it down a little bit. So while that is starting to, I turned it down to like low. And so while that is cooking, I'm going to chop up. So the green onions will be for the end. And I need to, this carrot is a little, um, has seen better days. You don't want to wait till your carrot is like this, but I'm not going to let it go to waste. So I'm going to try to cut off some of this stuff. Actually, let me see if I have more carrots. Okay, well we're gonna salvage what we can of this, <laughs> this carrot. And then I'm gonna use some of these carrots I have for Fisher's lunch. keeps dying. I'm going to use some coconut aminos just a little bit while this is heating up. I'm 
also going to add some of my ginger. I'm gonna go for a whole tablespoon. And then, yeah, I'm using this to stir. Probably not a good idea. It smells so good. I haven't even added the sesame yet. Sesame oil. Okay, so I'm just gonna add the cauliflower now. This does not take that long. My shrimp are already cooked, so I'm gonna peel them and add some to, I might actually just have those on the side, so that way I can keep this separate and then add shrimp as I want. Oh, I also need to add, I need to add the egg. So a trick that my friend taught me is to make a little nest. So as this cooks down, I'm gonna create two little pockets and then I'm gonna put the egg in there and as they cook and start to cook up, then I'll, um, then I will, what's the word, like mix them in. All right, finished product. I ended up adding three eggs total and some soy sauce kind of gave it that color. And I already added the, I added about a half a tablespoon of sesame oil because I love sesame oil, but you can always use less. And then here is what I'm gonna eat right now and I added my shrimp to it. So this is basically just veggies and protein. Super clean, low fat, super healthy. Thanks for watching my very, very short video on how I make my cauliflower fried rice. Like I said, this is like, the second time I've made it, I just did, made it with my friend last week. I liked how she did it. I just kind of went off memory. And I think the most important thing to do is to try a recipe and then make it your own, tweak it, use less or more of something that you like. Um, yeah, so just experiment and you can't really go wrong. All right, thanks, bye.